Hey, I'm Todd Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. Here are five things to know about Risk Five. A growing number of you know about the chips called Risk Five, and that's why some of you just insta corrected me that Risk Five is not a chip, it's an instruction set for chips. You're right. That may ring a bell for some more of you who are like, wait, that sounds like ARM, not this kind of ARM, the chip ARM. And the answer is yes, ARM is also an instruction set for chips used by Apple, Google, Qualcomm, whole lot of others to make their own chips, as opposed to Intel and AMD, who use the x86 family of instruction sets and don't let anyone else make them. Except with ARM, you have to pay the company ARM if you want to use the ARM instruction set, whereas RISC-V is open. You don't have to pay anybody which is why it's growing. Here are the top five things to know about Risk Five. Number five, Risk is spelled R-I-S-C. It stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computing. And to way oversimplify, it's a design philosophy that focuses on removing rarely used instructions in order to speed up performance. Coming in at number four, there weren't really five previous risks before risk five, but also there kind of were. David Patterson worked on the Cal Berkeley risk project in the early 1980s. And when he helped out advising the risk five project in 2010, he considered it the fifth time he himself had worked on a big risk type project so they called it Risk Five in his honor, which was very nice of them. Up to number three, Risk Five started as a summer project. Cal Berkeley's Krista Asanovich was trying to satisfy his research requirement to develop an open source computer system. And when the aforementioned Dave Patterson jumped in to help, it sort of became much bigger than a summer project. Sliding into number two. It's administered by Risk Five International. That is a nonprofit foundation based in Switzerland, which maintains the rights and keeps them open so that anybody can use it while also coordinating the project so it has stable development. At number one, companies are building on it. In August 2023, Risk Foundation members Qualcomm, NXP, Nordic Semiconductor, Infineon, and Robert Bosch set up a company, joint company, in Germany to commercialize Risk v based products. We're just now getting serious development behind Risk v so it might be 2024 or later before you see it in major chips for cars or other platforms, but it's coming. And you, my friend, are ahead of the game knowing about it. If you want to be ahead of more great tech news games, subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show and get the podcast daily tech news show dot com. If you can help support us, do so head on over to patreon.com slash DTNS and keep us in business. I'll see you there.